In this demo, we're going to show you how easy it is to set up your hardened Linux repository, but we're also going to take a look into the failure scenarios that it's going to prevent, things like accidental deletion and also ransomware attacks. Let's start by showing you how super simple it is to set up the new hardened Linux repository. So first of all, we want to add in our IP address of our Linux machine. And then we're going to add our credentials. And what you're going to notice here is this single use credentials for the hardened repository, a new feature purposely for this. So we're going to define our username and password. This is going to connect over SSH. We're then going to elevate that account to privileges using the root password. And the key part to this account that we're adding here, this single sign on or single use credential is that it's not stored within Veeam backend replication. This is used to get that data mover service installed on the Linux box, which allows us to start being able to protect and send data to that, that machine. So once we've run through this, then as a managed server, then we go and we want to go and connect and create our backup repository. So adding the repository is also super simple. It's a case of right clicking, add backup repository. We're gonna choose direct attached storage. We're gonna choose Linux. We're gonna give our backup repository a name, and then we're gonna identify that Linux managed service that we just added. We're gonna populate that just to confirm that the path that we're using is there and available to us. I've created one called backups. Next, I wanna come in here and this is where we define some of those important settings that come in version 11. So firstly, let's populate. Secondly, we have our fast cloning technology that came within version 10. And then we have make recent backups immutable for seven days. This is the important feature that we're talking about today. Minimum seven days, but it can obviously be longer. So then the rest of the wizard is super simple. This is where we're going to just review what, what uh, services we've already had um, applied to that, that server, apply that, and then this will become available to our backup jobs as a target for both backup jobs as well as backup copy jobs. So then if we jump on over to a job that I created before, go into another hardened Linux repository, you can see here that we have our backup jobs and they are listed as immutable until, and that's that point of I need to keep these backup jobs in an immutable primary backup state. Now we want to look at what about accidental deletion. Accidental deletion could absolutely happen to any of us. The whole fat thumb or fat finger approach and simply put this is what protects us from that. This is the first port of being able to protect against those primary backups being deleted or modified or edited. Accidental deletion ensures that, well, nothing's going to happen to those backups. You're going to see here very shortly that there's a warning to say that these backups were, were unable to delete these backups. But what about a little bit more malicious activity, such as how do we get around that immutable until date? Well, let's take a look at if we were to move that date forward, then we'd have exactly the same outcome. It's smart enough, well, the actual setting is on the actual Linux box itself. Okay, now into the shell of the hardened Linux repository. First and foremost, we would highly recommend that this is made secure. If it is a physical machine with physical access, then disable SSH. If it requires remote access via SSH, then implement MFA. For the purpose of the demo, I'm using the Veeam account. What if someone not so nice did get access to this and was able to SSH to this box? This is the same Veeam account that was used to register this Linux server, the account under which the data mover service runs, and thus is the owner of all the backup files. Next, we're going to look at our backup folder and list out our backup files. Now let's try and do some damage. Operation not permitted. Now let's take a look at that immutable flag we are using on our backup files. And now let's try and remove that mutable flag on those backup files. Just give it a password. 
And there we go. This is why it is really important to ensure you don't have the Veeam account or any other accounts in Sudoers on that Harden repository. In that demo, I was able to show you the easy setup of the Harden Linux repository, as well as being able to show you some of those accidental deletion scenarios, but also how, how it can help prevent against ransomware attacks.